but I, I think that um, having uh, like a GSA existing in a high school um, would be incredibly helpful in that like I knew that there were people even if there were like only three of them and even if there were no professors that wanted to be the advisor on this club I just knew there were people in the school that I could count on or I could talk to or like that would be there for me if something went down and I think that's that that's at the very least helpful and then of course it does other things like advocacy I had a friend commit suicide when I was 14 and I believe fully that if he had one one adult person or one member of the community that he could have gone to and have been a safe space not even not even like actively like engaging in the GLBT community but just a safe space someone in the faculty or someone he could talk to I fully believe that would have happened absolutely so when when your school says okay well we can have a gay straight alliance and that all of these things are going to happen then that's they're standing up for us that's that's what it is and so that your your school will almost defend you is, is willing to go that extra and say well this is happening we need to have a place for these people to go and to be themselves and not have to worry about you know what the majority thinks target's already there the uh, National Center for Transgender Equality conducted a groundbreaking survey this last year. Uh, over 6,000 respondents surveyed by the University of Pennsylvania. 78% of LGBT students K-12 report being harassed in school. 35% report being physically assaulted, 12% report being sexually assaulted, and 6% report being expelled. Target's already there. Point though, 41% of respondents reported having attempted suicide as opposed to only 1.6 of the mainstream population. Yeah, it, it, you know, there's a safety in numbers. Exactly. If um, for me, the GSA is not telling you that you should come out or that you have to come out or when you should do it or how you should do it and at what rate. Um, it's there if you need it and it's there when you're ready for it. And it's there when you want the support and for you to be supportive for, for others. Um, but obviously, you come out at your own time, at your own pace, to the people you want to tell. And, um, and I think for me, having the GSA in my school made it easier for people in my class to come out later in life. Like, I, there are now like 20 people in my graduating class that are out, out, of, out of 200. That's a lot. Um, and there were none in high school. But so obviously, it didn't, it didn't force them to go into that and get, um, like, put the target on their back or anything when they weren't ready to yet. But it, it made them realize that there were people that were going to be supportive when they could. Yeah. Is that it's true that this organization does not force anyone to come out before they're ready. However, what it does do is it sends a very strong statement from the school administration <coughs> in terms of diversity being tolerated. The fact that that organization even exists in a school is a statement on behalf of the administration saying that it's okay to exist in the school. I couldn't talk to my own mom, let alone some high school counselor that's never dealt with that in their entire life. Me it, it, it needs to, it's a, a group of peers, people that are your age, that are, that are more understanding perhaps than someone who just didn't, you know, like you said, when you were in high school, you know, you looked at gay people and, and, and your friends would be like, well, does that person have a problem? It's that as we, as different age groups go along, they understand it more and more. Like Chad said about, you know, people that are in the young generation, they get it right away. But older people, it, it, it takes them 